Hello! In this 3D SFN video, we're just going to go over the fundamental basics of everything that you need to move models from the 3D Studio Max into the Source Filmmaker. We're going to start off by listing off the software that, and plugins that you need, and then we'll quickly go over setting up 3D Studio Max for the pure essentials for getting models into the Source Filmmaker. So, the very first thing that you need as intuition may suggest to you, given the context of this video, is 3D Studio Max and the Source Filmmaker. Uh, 3D Studio Max, the current version out, is 2016. However, I can't really stress this enough, but I highly recommend you actually try to find an earlier version of 3D Studio Max for this. And the reason I say that is around the time that 3D Studio Max 2012 came out, two things started happening. First, Autodesk started changing the internals of 3D Studio Max, making older scripts no longer work well with it. And more importantly, the people who were designing the tools to get models into source stopped using 3D Studio Max. So these two combine to mean that versions with 2012 and later for 3D Studio Max don't have tools that work properly for them. I personally use 3D Studio Max 2011 64-bit on 64-bit uh, Windows 7. Uh, 3DS Max 2010 also works perfectly fine with the tools. And 3DS Max 2012 as far as I know, the tools work perfectly fine for them, but 2013, 2014, later, the tools, there's no guarantee that the tools will work for them, and you will probably have complications with getting models out of 3D Studio Max into Source Filmmaker with those versions. So with that being said, you're going to want to try and find the version of 3D Studio Max 2010, 2011, 2012, find those versions to work with. So, once you have 3D Studio Max, the next most important piece of software you need is the Source Filmmaker. You can get to sourcefilmmaker.com. It's a free download. Only requirement is you need a Steam account. You don't even have to have a single dollar put into the account. You just have to sign up with Steam and have a Steam account. It's a completely free download. It comes with all the content you need. It's entirely self-contained, if not a bit restricted in what you can do out of the box. You need custom content for that. Beyond those tools, there are a few more things that you need. The first tool that I recommend you get is NEMS VTF Edit. Okay? So VTF stands for Valve Texture File and it is the unique format of textures that Source uses. All of your Source textures have to be in VTF, and VTF Edit allows you to import PNG, Targa, and a few other formats and easily convert to and from those and VTF Edit. It's an essential tool for getting models into the Source Filmmaker, but also for getting textures from the Source Filmmaker out so that you can edit them before putting them back in. To go with the VTF edit, you also need image editing. Uh, a lot of people use Adobe Photoshop. I personally, being an anachronism that I am, I use uh, Jask Paint Shop Pro 8 from circa 2001. But for free alternatives, because both Photoshop and Paint Shop Pro are paid products, free alternatives, you have things like the GIMP or PaintNet. Really, is you just need to find some image editing program that does what you need and can export out to at least Targa or PNG or one of the other formats that VTF Edit supports. So beyond those, you also need some tools for getting your models into Source Filmmaker. Source Filmmaker does not natively support the SMD or DMX file formats. They have to be compiled into a Source MDL file. And to do that, you use a tool such as Crowbar. Now, Crowbar is not in itself a compiler, but it is actually a wrapper for the tool that Valve provides called Studio MDL. So, if you install Source Filmmaker, you get Studio MDL, so you don't have to worry about getting it. So, you just download Crowbar, and it will serve as a 
uh, user, user interface wrapper for Studio MDL makes compiling extremely easy, a lot easier than using Studio MDL and the command line by yourself. It does a lot of the work for you, a lot of shortcuts. It makes things incredibly easy to compile models. So there's Crowbar. Um, in addition, you also need tools to get from 3D Studio Max to SMD or DMX. And for that, there are Wonder Boys 3D Studio Max SMD export and import plugins. So SMD is uh, the format that Valve uses for their raw models that Studio MDL will then compile into MDL. And so you need the ability to export from 3D Studio Max to SMD. The reason why you'd want the import is if you have already compiled a model and you want to edit it, or if you've decompiled a model and you want to edit it. You always want to have an import. Um, you will also want, for certain, the VTF texture plugin, which allows you to bring VTFs directly into 3D Studio Max. No conversion necessary for if you just want to quickly slap a texture on a model in 3D Studio Max and see how it works. Other tools you might want is you may want the VTA export tool, which allows you to export uh, vertex animation files, also known as flexes or face posing. I personally don't use it. I've never gotten it to work, but if you can, I highly recommend you do. Later tutorials in this series will not use it, and so you won't get much help if you do use it. I have my own workflow and tools for that, but the VTA export tool would make things a lot easier, especially for starting out. So in addition to all these, there's one thing I forgot, which is you probably want to get Notepad++. Notepad++ is a text editor with a few intelligent development environment or IDE elements, such as syntax highlighting, where certain things, certain keywords are colored differently, uh, tabbing and untabbing support, uh, line numbers, and then a few other things that just make editing text files a lot easier than straight up Notepad or WordPad. And the reason that you want Notepad++ is for two things. Valve material files, VMTs, which tell source how to use your texture files, are text files. And sources QC compile scripts, which tells Studio MDL how to compile your model, are also text files. And they both use line numbers, which Notepad++ provides to you, and you just get the added functionality of multiple tabs and a lot of other nice features. So that's all the essential software and plugins that you need for getting models from 3D Studio Max over to the Source Filmmaker. So next, we're just kind of go through and do some basic setup for 3D Studio Max, because when 3D Studio Max comes out of the box, it's functional, but it's not quite the way that you would like it set up. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go Customize Preferences, Viewports, Configure Driver. But what we're going to do here is the textures by default in the 3D view pane are incredibly low resolution and they look really bad and it's not an accurate way at all of previewing how your model will look. So the way you do that is you go to this configure drivers and then you just go through and you make sure you enable anti-alias lines wireframe set to 8 samples and then for both your background texture size and download texture size you want to match bitmap as closely as possible and check the largest possible option which in this case is 1024 and 512. In addition to that you don't want bitmap lookup and you want a linear texel lookup. So once you've done that hit OK and then you want to go over to general in preference settings and set your scene undo level really high. So this is the number of control Z's, undo's, that you can do. By default, it's really low, I think 20. I set it to 500. 500 is a pretty good number because you will find, kind, find yourself in a situation where you realize you did something catastrophically wrong and you need to undo a lot of changes. And there's no worse feeling than hitting that 20 limit where you can't undo any more. And if you're in a particularly unfortunate situation where you saved over your last working file, you're out of luck and you have to start over. So you definitely want to set this up really high. So that's 
all you really need to do for a really general setup of 3D Studio Max. And then the general workflow will be you work in 3D Studio Max, you export to SMD, you write the QC, you compile the source, you convert the textures to VTF with VTF edit, and then you put your models into Source Filmmaker and see how they work. All of that, of course, will be done in later videos. This one was just a very simple setup. So thanks for your time. I hope that this sort of gets you on the right foot of where to go and look forward to later videos. The next video series will be very simply compiling a model and converting the textures. Until next time, this is 3DSFM.